You! I've been looking for you. You there. You match the description I was given. I have a message for you from Lyris Titanborn. The Titanborn wanted me to find you and tell you she was on her way, but she had something she had to look into first. She said that if you weren't incredibly busy, she could use your help. Mentioned that you had an uncanny knack for solving problems. All I know is she found something at the Reachwind Ritual site. It really got her companion excited. They stayed behind and sent me on ahead to deliver the message, which I have done. Now to see if a Nord can buy some mead around here. I need to report in to Jarl Svana and the rest of the contingent from Western Skyrim. After I quench my thirst. The road we traveled was long and dusty. Remember, the Reachwind Ritual Site. That's where you'll find Lyris Titanborn. Yes, along with a contingent of Skyrim dignitaries. She figured it was the least she could do since the Grey Host attacked both our realms. Offer help the way Eastern Skyrim aided Solitude. Normal. I'm not sure what that is anymore. But if you're asking how we're faring, we're doing fine. Distribution of the elixir continues, and they found a way to cure the Harrow. And except for a few disorganized bands, the Grey Host is on the run. He's a big red guard, but he looks puny next to Titanborn. Short bones, though doesn't everybody. They say he's some kind of sword master. Or was it a dragon guard? I'm not sure. It's hard to remember anything other than his beard. It's impressive. Unnatural witch storms. Nothing but reach stories, mark my words. I don't think we're the first to camp here. Lost in such tracks. Easy, friend. I'm not your enemy. I'm not one of those monsters, and I didn't kill this one. It was the blonde giant and her companion. Lyris? Uh, yes, I think that's what her companion called her. They saved us. We were prisoners of Grey Host vampires, bound for the blood pens, I'm sure. Then that armored giant, Lyris, you say? She strolled into camp and demanded they free us. To be perfectly honest, I had my eyes closed through most of it. There was a lot of shouting and cursing. Threats were made. I heard the blonde giant laugh. Then I heard a great swoosh. Lots of them. Must have been her axe and her companion's sword. Every last one of them. They found something on the leader, though. A letter, I think. It got her companion all excited. Pin mentioned Valthum and departed without another word. So I stuck around to see if I could find anything else of value. Take that, you bastard! Damned vampires. At least that fine red guard and his blonde giant know how to deal with them. Aye. That's what the handsome red guard called her. They came out of nowhere and saved my clan from those gray host bastards. As grateful as I am, I don't think saving us was their primary purpose. They took down the vampire leader and searched her. Not exactly, but they found a letter she was carrying. I'm not one of those imperialized reach folk, so I wouldn't have been able to read it if I tried. Must have been important, though, because the blonde giant started asking me questions. She wanted to know about reach history. Now, I'm not one to offer a drowning Nord a branch, but they did just save my clan, so I suggested you find a Vatishran at Roldan Ring. If you're looking for the Red Garden as giant, check there. There's my partner. Over here. Welcome, partner. 
I take it you got my message? Problem. More like an opportunity. And it all has to do with these letters we found on the Grey Host leaders at the Reachwood Ritual Site and Valthium. Well, I can't argue with that description. Sai Sahan is certainly all those things and more. We were on our way to Markarth to meet Savannah when we decided to help out the locals with their Grey Host problem. That's when we found the letters. Maybe nothing, but for Sai, maybe everything. We think there's a third letter out there. Sai's in Gloomreach trying to acquire it. Go help him while I finish here. I'm hoping to talk to one of the Reach lore keepers, Avadashran, if I can find one. Sai Sahan is an old friend. He's a Red Guard swordmaster and a member of the Dragon Guard. We fought alongside each other a long time ago. Helped Varen overthrow the Longhouse Emperors, for all the good it did us. Maybe nothing, but for Sai, maybe everything. Thanks, partner. I really want to talk to one of the Vatashrans and see if they can tell me more about what's in these documents. In the meantime, go to Gloomreach and help Sai. It's not the letters themselves, it's what's in them. There are references to Rada al Saran and a Reach hero, as well as something that ties them both to Sai Sahan's martial traditions. It might be nothing, but Sai wants to investigate. You're gonna have to trust me on this one, partner. This is Sai's tale to tell. I'm just trying to help him. And I hope you are, too. Now get to Gloomreach and do what you can. Oh, Master. Where are you? Step away to deal with a stray werewolf and someone steals my prize? So, what did you find in the coffer? You must be Lyris's partner. She told me about your adventures up in solitude, and I'm happy to have your support. I see you opened the coffer. Did you happen to find a letter? Let me have a look. Yes. This is what I was seeking. The third letter between the vampire leaders. But I was afraid of this. They don't tell the complete story. That's my Snow Lily. She would never betray my confidence. Not even to a trusted partner such as yourself. I, however, will share what I know. I can't expect you to help if you don't know what's involved. Before becoming a vampire, Rada al Saran was a Red Guard swordmaster who once battled Leki to a standstill. According to the letters, he lost his ability to manifest the Shihai, his spirit sword. Then he met the Reach hero, Fallon, the Red Eagle. That's what I was hoping to learn, but the letters failed to provide any detail. I too have never been able to manifest my Shihai. I was hoping to gain insight from these letters. It seems we'll have to look elsewhere, though. Lyris went to Hraldan Ring to talk to Avadashran, a Reach lore keeper, to find a local version of the story. I suggest we go to the Source, a sacred site dedicated to Fallon, Red Eagle Redoubt. Look for Avadashran, and I'll meet you there. Anyone can learn anything from anybody, if they are patient and willing to listen. I was hoping that the letters would reveal more of the story, but they lack the details necessary to understand how Red Eagle helped Rada al Saran. I'm not an expert on Reach lore. That's why we need to find Avadashran. However, none of the legends I've heard suggest Fallon was anything other than a Reachman. The stories do say he was armed with a flaming sword. Maybe that's the connection. It's what the Reach folk call their lore keepers. They don't have a written language. So they remember history through stories and songs. With any luck, we'll find a Vadashran at Red Eagle Redoubt who knows the story of Rada al Saran and Fallon. It was purely by chance. 
When Lyris and I helped the people at the Reachwind ritual site, we discovered a letter on the Grey Host Leader. A number of the vampire commanders were discussing the story through correspondence. I was intrigued. I sense you search for knowledge, outsider. What song do you seek? Something brings you to this sacred place, outsider. I sense your desire for knowledge. Speak, and tell me what song you seek. That is a rare and ancient tale, one not often spoken of, let alone shared with those from beyond the clans. Tell me, outsider, why does this story matter to you? Tesfera has told all who will listen about the handsome Red Guard and the blonde giant who walks at his side, about what they did for her clan. Very well. What specifically about the tale interests you and your friends? Ah, yes. Red Eagle was a great warrior as well as a great teacher. All I can tell you is that an ancient cave sits below this sacred redoubt. If this particular song is meant for you and your friends, you will find the answers you seek there. We just got here, partner. What did you find out? We got here just in time to hear the very end of your conversation with the Vatishran partner. Wanna fill me in on the parts we missed? I appreciate that the Reach folk noticed. You'd be surprised how often what we do is taken for granted. If you can find that cave, Sai and I will follow shortly. I want to check something I learned in Hroldan Ring with the Vatishran. Yep, this must be the place. Hey, partner. Let's talk. The Vatishran was willing to open up a bit more. Must have been my shining personality. She suggested that we'd find something important in this cave, but that we might have to work to uncover it. The Vatishran explained that the Reach folk have a story concerning Red Eagle and a fallen sword saint. How they met in this cave to exchange knowledge. Since that time, the cave has been left alone. Who knows what's beneath all the undergrowth. You clear the undergrowth. Sai and I will be ready to extract whatever we find. Snow Lily, look! Is that...? Yes, it's a song! Reach out, Red Eagle! Your destiny awaits. Another verse. Your turn, Sai. Clear your mind, Red Eagle. Don't surrender to the fates. with the song that makes it roar. And let your spirit, your love, and your life, let it soar. Then it will come to you, your love, your life, your sword. Of course, Sai. Don't you see? You never fight for what you want. Only for what others need. I think I understand. I think I know the meaning of this ancient song. I think the song tells us that Red Eagle had to clear his mind before he could embrace his destiny. That he had to fill his heart with the thing he loved the most. 
For Red Eagle, that was his people. For Rada al Saran, probably his grey host. Sai always lets his duty guide his actions. He fights for others, for what they need, for the greater good. He needs to decide what he truly wants to fight for. Only then can he claim his spirit sword. Meet us outside, partner. I need to talk to Sai. Hey, partner. I think we figured it out. Ancient legends, old songs. It's all up to Sai now. The Shihai. It's a sacred and private thing to a Red Guard. I tried to help Sai. Told him what I thought. What happens next? That's up to him. Thanks for your help, partner. If we're keeping score, I owe you. A lot. Now I need to talk. I think I understand, Sai. You need to put aside your duty just this once and focus on what you want. Duty isn't easily set aside for someone like me, Snow Lily. Focus, Sai. Just this once. Fill your heart with what you need. Reach out, Red Eagle, your destiny awaits. Clear your mind, Red Eagle, don't surrender to the fates. Fill your heart with the song that makes it roar. And let your spirit, your love, and your life let it soar then it will come to you your love your life your sword sai your sword it's working sai that's amazing the words they led me to the true answer the one thing i have always loved above all else and what was that, Sai? I thought of you, Snow Lily. I thought of you. I never imagined to find the means to summon my Shihai here in the Reach. But thanks to you and Lyris, I finally have my spirit sword. And I have my snow lily. <laughs> There's a song in my heart and life is good! I knew Sai could summon his spirit sword. He's the bravest, strongest, most loyal man I've ever met. He just had to focus on what really mattered to him. I just didn't expect it to be... Me. I mean, I knew. But still, now I really know.